On this episode, we're gonna deep dive into the USDA loan products for assisted living facilities, skilled nursing centers, everything in the senior demographic. And we're gonna talk about USDA financing, the BNI loan, how that could be a benefit if you're developing or acquiring these type of, of businesses in rural designated areas, that's with 50,000 less in population. There's a map that we use with the USDA and it will let you know if it's in a eligible USDA, USDA area. This is a great product. It can go up to $25 million. There's other products like the community facility program that can do up to $100 million. Uh, it is a very viable uh, loan product and solution uh, if you are in these rural areas. We can also look at the other government guarantee programs such as the SBA 7A and 504 in these types of facilities in uh, rural areas. And that's what we, we basically do is we're gonna size up the deal, where it's at, and then what makes the most sense from a government guaranteed loan program. So stay tuned and we'll see you on the inside. Welcome back to the Investor Financing Podcast. I'm your host, Bo Eckstein, and today we're diving into an incredible important topic financing solutions for assisted living communities, skilled nursing facilities, memory care centers, and other elder care facilities, as well as hospital labs, clinics, and pharmacies. As our nation ages, the demand for these facilities is skyrocketing, and securing the right financing is crucial. Let's start with an overview of the financing options available through the USDA Rural Development Loan Program. This program offers uh, multiple USDA-backed finance financing options for businesses, investors, co-ops, nonprofits, and municipalities to use for a wide range of commercial uses. This includes the acquisition, construction, improvement, and refinancing of many type of elder care facilities, as well as other kinds of healthcare related businesses, facilities, including hospitals. One of the key things to note is the broad definition of rural. By the USDA, it includes any city or town with 50,000 or fewer residents. So this means more than 97% of America's geographic territory is eligible. So if you're considering investing in an assisted living, skilled nursing, or senior care facility, you're likely in an eligible area. You can quickly and easily check your geographic eligibility by plugging your address into the USDA's interactive map. We'll put that in the uh, show notes so you can see. Now let's talk about the long-term demand for elder care facilities. Our nation is aging and according to Urban Institute from the U.S. Census Bureau, by 2040, almost one in five Americans will be age 65 or older, up from one in eight in 2000. The number of Americans age 65 and older will more than double over the next 40 years, reaching 80 million in 2040. The number of individuals aged 85 and older will nearly quadruple between 2000 and 2040. This surge in the aging population means the need for high quality facility based long term care, which is paramount. These facilities are where residents will receive ongoing memory care, physical therapy, wound care and more, all while living in environments that optimize their comfort, security, independence and overall well-being. Let's dive into the financing needs for these facilities. There, there is a critical need for financing to meet the growing demand for senior housing and healthcare facilities. Accessible capital is essential for acquiring, constructing, improving, and refinancing these facilities. While securing commercial financing can be challenging, USDA loans offer a viable solution. For our for-profit businesses, the USDA business and industry loans are an excellent option. These loans range from two to 25 million with terms from seven to 40 years, depending on the funding use. Interest rates are highly competitive and can be fixed or variable. Eligible uses include new business launches, acquisitions, land development, construction, expansion, modernization, refinancing, and purchasing medical equipment. Eligible applicants include individuals, partnerships, cooperatives, franchises, publicly traded companies, and Native American tribes. For nonprofit entities and essential community facilities, USDA community facility loans are the go-to option. These loans range from two to $100 million with terms up to 40 years. Interest rates are competitive, whether fixed or variable. Uses of the funding are similar to the BNI loan, but 
but must serve public use and have significant community support. Legal and financial requirements must also be met by the applicants. Both the USDA business and community facility loan programs are collaterally backed lending programs for credit worthy borrowers. Applicants need a good credit history and must provide collateral set as at a discounted value consistent with the, with the sound loan to value practices. Typically that's a one to one collateral. Uh, they'll they'll use 85%, I believe, of, of real real property, and then machines and equipment uh, will be valued less. Um, we'll, we'd have to get into specifics based on your unique situation, but these are these do need to be collateralized one to one as opposed to like an SBA 7A loan. In conclusion, the benefits of using USDA loans for for senior living projects are clear. They offer accessible capital to meet the growing demand for elder care facilities with flexible terms and competitive interest rates. If you're considering investing in senior housing, assisted living communities, skilled nursing facilities, or other healthcare related businesses, explore USDA financing options. You can go to bookwithbo.com. You can schedule a meeting with me. My main focus in the lending realm is all government guaranteed loans that would include SBA 7A, the 504, and the USDA products, community facilities, BNI, and the REAP program. If you're in a rural area, population less than 50,000, we often, we're also gonna compare, depending on the total loan or the total project cost, we would compare the, the SBA versus USDA uh, for deals sub five million. Uh, typically the 7A might work and there's some benefits there, meaning we can have collateral shortfall and be okay there. So really it's gonna be dependent on your specific project because we can, we're gonna look at it all aspects of funding and see what where we're gonna get the best terms and the desired outcome that you're looking for. So once again, go to bookwithbo.com and we can schedule a meeting and discuss your project. Thanks so much for watching. See you on the next episode. Hi guys, Bo Exine here. If you wanna visit myterritorycheck.com to find out if the franchise we spoke about on the show or maybe it's one you've investigated and you're trying to see if it's available in your market, you simply go to MyTerritoryCheck.com and we'll do a quick search for you. You enter in your name, email, zip code, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. If that particular franchise is available, we'll also send other franchises similar to that if it's not available. So you can figure out what is available in your marketplace as you're diving into different franchise models. So go to MyTerritoryCheck.com and uh, we'll help you out as quickly as possible. See you soon. Hey guys, Bo Exine here. If you enjoyed what you saw, please subscribe to this channel. We talk all things financing. I've been in the lending industry for over 20 years and I'm happy to answer your questions and provide great content.